Let's have some fun. Read along with a story. Sail the ocean blue. Get your friends and play dress ups. You're welcome to Four Dust and Learn. Dance to the rhythm of you who seek Four Dust and Learn. Let's have some fun. Come on a great adventure. Sing your favorite tunes. Reading, writing, and painting. Something we all can do. Four Dust. And learn to dance to the rhythm of music for dust and learn. Let's have some fun. For dust and learn to dance to the rhythm of music for dust and learn. Let's have some. Let's have some. Let's have some fun. Hola, amigos. Estén listos para una canción super divertida. Así es, oye. Hoy vamos a cantar una canción muy especial. Deo, la canción del barco banano. Esta canción es sobre trabajar toda la noche cagando platanos y esperando que salga el sol. Es imposible no mover el cuerpo con este ritmo tropical. Y queremos que ustedes canten con nosotros cuando decimos, Deo, de ya ya yo. ¿Lo intentamos? Deo. Eso es. Saigan es ritmo y vamos a divertirnos mucho. Así que sin más demora, comencemos con Deo. Hey, he said Deo. Bananas work all night till the morning come. Stack banana till the morning come. Come, Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. Come, Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. It's six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Daylight come and he wanna go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Day, he said day, oh. A beautiful bunch of ripe bananas Hides the deadly black tarantula Eat! It's six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. Come, Mr. Tally Man, tally me banana. Day, he say day, yo.
Hey, look, I'm a cook. Hey, it's time for a nursery rhyme. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess. There was a princess long ago, long ago, long ago. There was a princess long ago, long, long ago. The princess lived in a big high tower. And she lived in a big high tower, big high tower, big high tower. And she lived in a big high tower, big high tower. A queen that was very naughty put a spell on her. Queen was naughty and cast a spell, cast a spell, cast a spell. A queen was naughty and cast a spell, cast a spell. The princess slept for 100 years. The princess slept for a hundred years, a hundred years, a hundred years. The princess slept for a hundred years, a hundred years. While she was sleeping, a great big forest grew all around her. A great big forest grew around, grew around, grew around. A great big forest grew around, grew around. One day, a gallant prince came riding by. A gallant prince came riding by, riding by, riding by. A gallant prince came riding by a long time ago. The gallant prince cut the trees down. He chopped the tree down with his sword, with his sword, with his sword. He cut the tree down with his sword, with his sword. The gallant prince woke the princess with a kiss. He woke the princess with a kiss, with a kiss, with a kiss. He woke the princess with a kiss, with a kiss. The happy pair were married. The happy pair were married then, married then, married then. The happy pair were married then, long time ago. Everybody, the wedding danced and danced. And that's the end of the story. So everybody's happy now. <laughs> everybody's happy now. Happy now. Happy now. So everybody's happy now. Happy now. So everybody's happy now. Happy now. Happy now. So everybody's happy now. Happy now. So everybody's happy now. Happy now. Happy now. So everybody's happy now. Happy now. <laughs>
It's me, Dorothy the Dinosaur. Today, I'm going to tell you all about opposites. Opposites are words that mean the complete opposite of each other, like night and day. Let's explore some together. First, let's look at big and small. And big. Now imagine a tiny little bug, that would be small. Big and small are opposites. Now let's think about fast and slow. This is me moving fast, whoosh. And this is me moving slow. See the difference? Here's another one, up and down. Up is where the stars are, high in the sky. She crouches down. And down is where we sit on the glass. Let's try hot and cold. Imagine holding a warm cup of tea, that's hot. Now picture standing in the snow, BR. That's cold. Opposites help us understand different experiences. Aren't opposites fun? They make the world interesting. Big or small, fast or slow, up or down, we all belong, no matter what. Now, let's practice opposites together. I'll move fast, can you try moving slow? Or I'll jump up, can you sit down? Keep exploring opposites and you'll discover just how wonderful the world can be. Thanks for learning with me today. Until next time, remember, whether you're big or small, fast or slow, you're perfect just the way you are. Hey everyone, it's me, Gaddy, and today we're talking about opposites. I've got my friends Jay, Ogie, Maddie, and Captain Feathersword here with me. Ho <laughs> ho Opposites! What a jolly topic! I love opposites! They keep things interesting! Opposites are everywhere. Like day and night. During the day, we can go outside and play, and at night, we rest and sleep. That's right. And here's another one, hot and cold. Imagine a hot summer's day, and then jumping into a cold pool. Feels refreshing, doesn't it? Yeah. And how about big and small? A giraffe is big and a little ladybug is small, but they are both awesome in their own way. <laughs> and don't forget fast and slow. Like me running fast across the deck and then slow like a sleepy snail. Opposites aren't just fun. They also help us understand the world. If we didn't know up... How would we know what down is? Exactly. Opposites give things meaning. They help us make sense of differences. And they teach us balance. If we only ever moved fast, we'd get tired. It's good to slow down sometimes. Same with being happy and sad. 
We wouldn't appreciate happiness if we never felt sad. Both feelings are important. Aye, opposites remind us that everything has a time and place, like sunshine and rain. Both are needed to grow a beautiful garden. So remember, friends, whether things are big or small, fast or slow, happy or sad, they all have value. Opposites make the world go round. Ahoy! Now let's have some fun practicing opposites. Who wants to race fast and then take a slow stroll? Fast first. Let's go, everyone. And after that, we'll slow down and relax because both are important. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, yes it's true. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Teddy bear, teddy bear, climb the stairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Hello, everyone. It's me, Ogie. I'm dressed as a farmer today. Oh. Is that you, Ogie? It sure is, Jay. Hum. Well, what are you dressed as today, Ogie? Guess. Hum. Let me see now. You're wearing a train conductor's outfit. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. It's not. Well, what is it, then, Ogie? Ask our friends. Everyone. Do you think Ogie's wearing a train conductor's outfit? No? You think it looks like farmer overalls? Hun, let me see. Ogie, they think you're wearing farmer overalls. They're right, Jay. These are overalls. Hun, what's that on your head, Ogie? Take a guess. Oh, that must be a chef's hat. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. It's not. Well, what is it, then? Ask our friends. Everyone, do you think Ogie's hat is a chef's hat? No? You think it's a straw hat? Ogie, they say it's a straw hat. They're right. It's a straw hat. So you've got farmer overalls and a straw hat. Hun, now what's that you're holding? Ogie? Guess. A broom? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. It's not. Well, what is it, Ogie? Ask our friends. Everyone, is that a broom? No? You say it's a pitchfork? Ogie, they think it's a pitchfork. They're right. It's a pitchfork. So, I've got farmer overalls, a straw hat, and a pitchfork. What do you think I'm dressed as? Overalls, straw hat, pitchfork. Our Ogie, I still don't know what you are. I need a bit of a clue. Okay, here's a clue, Jay. Ogie had a farm E-I-E-I-O. Oh, Ogie, I know what you are now. You're a farmer. You got it, Jay. I'm a farmer. There's only one question left. Ogie. What's that? Where are you going? Dressed like this. I'm off to the farm to feed the animals and you can come too. Let's go, Farmer Ogie.
here comes the farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy, oh the farmer in the dell. The farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy, oh the farmer takes a wife. The wife takes a child. The wife takes a child. The wife takes a child. Hi ho the dairy, oh the wife takes a child. The child takes a nurse. I hold the dairy, oh, the child takes the nurse. The nurse takes a dog. The nurse takes a dog. The nurse takes a dog. Hi ho, the dairy, oh, the nurse takes a dog. The dog takes a cat. Hi ho, the dairy, oh, the dog takes a cat. The cat takes a rat. The cat takes a rat. The cat takes a rat. Hi ho the dairy oh the cat takes a rat. The rat takes the cheese. The rat takes the cheese. The rat takes the cheese. Hi ho the dairy oh the rat takes the cheese. Now the cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Hi ho the dairy oh the cheese stands alone. The farmer in the dell, that's that. Goodbye from four dust. It's time to say goodbye to you. Goodbye from four dust. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye from four dust. It's time to say goodbye to you. Goodbye from four dust. It's time to say goodbye. Hooroo! Bye bye! Woohoo! Bye bye!